tell y'all it is your fave blue haired baddie. And today I am so. <laughs> that was a vocal. That was vocal. That sounded good. I want to play that back. That sounded good. That sounded good, didn't it? <laughs> that sounded good. I am so excited to finally, finally, finally get to share how I made the best, best piece of art I have ever made. Like, ever, ever made. I made this one of a kind, a beautiful, beautiful a mirror. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe because we're asking you finding content like this nowhere nowhere so like and subscribe all right let's get into it so obviously being me the greatest artist in the world <laughs> I was gonna paint myself a nice new mirror but I wanted it to be a little different than the ones that I did in the past step one was writing down a list of what I wanted in the mirror I know that number one the mirror had to be blue obviously because blue is the best color in the world number two I wanted it to have a really cool shape I wanted something a little bit a little bit different you know you know me. I wanted it a little bit different because I'm different. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> I'm different. So I wanted it to be different and it had to have LED lights. What was the most, most, most important to me is that it had to be like a freestanding mirror. So it had to be a mirror that I was able to move around my room because I really want like mirror photos in front of my gallery wall which we have up right now the real reason i wanted a freestanding mirror is because my previous mirrors were stationed on the wall facing directly towards my bed and i kept having nightmares about myself dying for months and i couldn't get any sleep and i know that mirrors in your room generally are really bad for feng shui so i think that having a mirror a freestanding mirror that i'm able to turn around from my bed that's not looking directly at it would have helped me that was the main reason step two figuring out the design to get some inspo i did look up some mirrors well i never really look up mirrors they were just mirrors that i just kept coming across and you know that ultra fragola ultra fragola mirror <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying i'm saying it right ultra fragola it goes viral on twitter every other month it's just so beautiful so beautiful but that mirror is like 10k rightfully so that is a mirror that looks like it costs 10k amazing and then um i follow this one artist and her Instagram is made for Monday and she makes these really really cool arched mirrors and they're actually the frame is actually a rug that she punches and it really inspired me like the colors that she uses because it looks like acrylic pour but in a rug so I found that really cool and then boom it hit me exactly what I wanted so this is the design that I had so looking at the drawing here I know that the it would have to be two frames the inner frame would just be a regular rectangular mirror and then we would have to do a second frame which is basically just like a squiggly line that goes around the inner frame so I know every time I say inner frame I'm, re I'm referring to the rectangle frame and every time I say outer frame i'm referring to the squiggly frame okay remember that very important so to begin we had to make a pattern for the frame i started by cutting out pieces of cardboard the same width we were gonna make the inner frame okay so this is the cardboard along the mirror um, this is four inches width. I think, I don't know, part of me is, the, adding the border makes it look so much bigger. I feel like I should 
cut it down to three, but I'm gonna leave it. I then start to make the pattern for the actual squiggly line. I have to do it on tracing paper first. This is the pattern piece I created. Hopefully you guys like understand the vision. Hopefully my dad understands the vision because he has to let me know if this will work or not. And I really hope it does work. We're gonna say it's gonna work. <laughs> Thank you universe for letting this work. All right, so this is my dad critiquing if I'm crazy or not. Can it be done? What do you wanna do? <laughs> so we can do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't say yeah, yeah if you can. Can, can it be done? Anything can be done. I know that's right. I know that's right. Okay, so now I have to put the pattern that was on the tracing paper onto cardboard so we can place that on wood and cut it. My dad got me this big old piece of cardboard. These pieces of woods here is what the frame is going to be made out of. And then my dad helped me with this part. He cut out the wood with a jigsaw. So this is really cool to see. Like watching this makes my mind go crazy because there's like endless possibilities. Like, I already have my next projects all lined up. <laughs> so excited. I love creating. So excited. So we had to sand down the edges. My dad made this little machine contraption thing. First he cut out the outer side of the squiggly frame and then he made this little contraption he was so proud of. It was like, I don't know, it helps him a lot along the frame, the squiggly frame, to make sure that it's even all throughout, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna show you guys. He was so proud of this. How does it work? How does it work? Then we would go back with the jigsaw and cut out. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Every time I look at this, I go getting excited because. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I'm so excited to paint this. My favorite part painting. Ah. I picked out six different shades of blue and two different shades of silver. Eight colors for this frame. That is a lot of colors, okay? Okay, and this is the setup. This is just like an old sheet because I threw out my tarp. Was it? thinking that I was gonna get a new one. Didn't get a new one, so I'm using like this old bed sheet and we're just all set up here. Mind you, I should have got a, a tarp because <laughs> ah, the paint went through the bed sheet. My floor was covered in paint and it was it's so annoying to clean. So no to so next project just get the tarp to not use the sheet. Okay, so painting it, the method that I used is like a open cup dirty pour. I just put all of the paint colors into shot glasses and I used those shot glasses all around the frame. I had fun painting this. My sister was there talking to me the whole time. So it, it was fun painting it, I won't lie. It's so relaxing doing this. I freaking love, 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 love painting. <laughs> Okay, so this is a dry result. I know it's kind of hard to see 
I don't know I kind of like it and a part of me feels like I should have used less blues just because the frame is already so busy I could get away with using less colors and like I literally have so much paint left over like a part of me is just like repaint it or I don't know should I repaint it should I leave it I am going to just leave it overnight and see. And if I feel away about it tomorrow, then I may repaint it, but we will see. Okay, so I'm a mad woman and I'm going to repaint this because I don't know, like I'm not in love. And I'm going to only use four colors, at least four colors. So I'm not gonna use the shot glasses. I'm gonna pour them all into one cup around this size. Pour it diagonally. I just painted it on top <laughs> of the frame already. I did not like remove the paint. quick little important message. I looked forever on Facebook Marketplace for like the perfect mirror and I was just so 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 eager to get one in my room and I found one on Facebook Marketplace and it was $25. I was so eager to have get a mirror that like I just took this one and this one actually had a crack in the bottom of it. First line, why the hell would I do that? But I was just too eager, too eager, too eager. And then I went in to paint it the material of the frame was so weird because it wasn't like wood. It was kind of like laminated wood. I don't I don't know. It was a weird material and it wasn't flat. It went down and it had a couple of ridges in it. So if I when I painted it, it was it was nasty. Like you need to paint on a flat surface and it wasn't a flat surface because of all the ridges. It came out so bad like so horrendous just look at this this is what you get when you rush things just take your time like I, I was way too eager I was way too eager and it, it just came out ugly like this is the ugliest thing I have ever ever painted like look at look at the details of this it's so nasty it is so nasty like all the colors they just mixed into like one color I think it's so ugly so ugly so ugly and look at the crack in it why would I even spend my money on that why would I spend my money on that okay so here is a shot of the final squiggly frame as you can see the details here honestly I think it came out in my head, it, I had like a different vision of how I wanted it to kind of look, but I'm not mad at this one. I, I think it's way better than the first attempt. The first attempt was giving me, it looked like aquamarine. There were so many cells in it, and I personally do not like acrylic pores with a lot of cells. Like the cells, they just bother me. Like they're like little bubbles, and like I, I don't like it. I do not like it at all. I didn't like the first one, like it was not moving me at all. The This final frame I liked so much better, like it's so cute. It was finally time to pick the color for the inner frame and I decided to pick the light blue because the light blue had little accents in the squiggly frame. So I think the frame behind it should have been light blue, which is what we went with. I initially painted the inner frame white just so the light blue could go on with less layers. For the squiggly frame, I had to paint the back side of it because you would have been able to see the back side of the squiggly frame like in the reflection of the mirror and I didn't want it to be that ugly brown that the wood was. I initially spray painted it a blue but honestly the spray paint did not go on nice. Okay so there's three reasons that the spray paint didn't work. 
first reason because it was cheap spray paint i got it from the dollar store no cap <laughs> Second reason, I don't know if it was because the type of wood it was, it, it kind of felt like a corkscrew. So I don't know if that type of wood just doesn't take spray paint. And the third reason it couldn't have worked was because I did it and it was so cold outside. It was so, so cold outside. I can't spray paint inside, obviously, because of all the fumes. So I did it outside, but it was so, so, so cold that day when I was spray painting it. Like, I'm talking like negative, negative 20 outside, okay? So I don't know if the coldness affected that. It could have been all three things. I don't know. But like the spray paint when it was on, it was so blotchy. You can see here, it's so, 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 so blotchy. So I just had to go back with acrylic paint and I just painted it one solid color. And it looked way, way, way better. So now it is time to resin the mirror. I had leftover resin from an old project we did a couple months ago. Remember, I said old resin from a couple months ago, okay? Because that's going to be important to what happens next. I set up everything in front of the window. So take note, another note, very important because you'll see shortly why. But you see how I'm in the window and the sun is beaming in? Just take note. I first applied the resin into the inner rectangle frame. I wanted to use the resin as an adhesive as well. So I didn't have to screw in the inner frame and the outer frame together. So I was using the resin to stick them together because if the resin sticks them together, like it's not, it's not leaving. Like resin is a very strong adhesive. So I initially put the resin onto the rectangular in inner frame. After the resin's on the inner frame, we go ahead and we put the outer squiggly frame on top of it. So when we put the squiggly frame on top of the, the rectangular frame, the ends of the squiggly frame were actually like sticking up. They weren't laying flat. So in order for it to lay flat, flat against the rectangle frame. I, I put a couple weight on it so it can stick all together. So now this is where the worst part of this whole mirror project, okay? Tell me why, 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 why? And I'm noticing a lot of smoke coming from the table and then we look and it is the resin smoking 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 up this is the resin that we were supposed to be using to go back on the squiggly frame but for some reason it got so hard and it started smoking so i was like whoa 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 what's going on here we have a couple of theories of what happened First theory is that the resin was spoiled because resin that we had is leftover resin from a project that i did in june 2021 and the resin instruction says to once you open the resin to use it within six months so that's about six seven months you know I feel like I wasn't really pushing it like I I am kind of I was kind of pushing it but I feel like it should still be fine right could have been uh, that the resin was just like too old but that doesn't make sense because we used the resin on the rectangular frame and that resin was totally fine. So the other option here that could have happened was you see when we set up we were by the window and the sun was coming in. I feel like the heat from the sun overworked the resin and when you overwork resin it, it, it doesn't cure properly. It, it gets like that. It gets spoiled. So I think, I think that I think, I'm pretty sure that that was what it was. So learn from my mistakes. Do not, do not, do not work directly in the sun. Do not, or else you're throwing out very, very expensive resin. Like resin is not cheap. Then it hit me. I don't have to use resin to finish it. And I decided to go with a more um, cheaper, no, we don't say cheaper around here. Because <laughs> ain't nothing cheap. We went with a more affordable 
option of Mod Podge and I used the ultra glossy Mod Podge and I did a whole bunch of layers and honestly it, it did make a big 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 difference it's 100% not resin at all but it helped it bring it back to life no cap no cap I, I'm pleased with it And then after that, we had to go in and we have to do sanding because when you work with resin, you have to sand. There was resin all along the back of the frame that we had to clean up because that is just ugly. Honestly, doing the sanding took me so, so long. It took me a full day. Is that because I took a lot of dancing and twerking breaks? We must become what we put in the grave. Whoa. Mm. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> it definitely wasn't because of my dancing rate. Ah. So after it was all sanded down, it kind of took off some of the paint and it kind of looked like kind of ugly. So I just went ahead with a paintbrush and I painted on top of that just so it looks a lot, a lot cleaner, you know, because we love cleanness and neatness. This is art, baby, art. So after that, my dad helped me with putting in the mirror into the frame because honestly, if I put the mirror into the frame, I would have dropped the mirror. <laughs> I'm clumsy. I would have dropped the mirror and the whole project would have been done. We just used a glue gun just to like um, help place it in and secure it a little bit. And then we went in with, I forget what this is called. I don't remember the name. I will put the name. I don't remember what this is called. But we will put in the name of what this is called here. Look at us now with my beautiful mirror. I'm so happy. I feel like this has just opened my mind to more creation. <laughs> like, I just feel so powerful. Like, this is so beautiful. I'm definitely gonna do a whole bunch of like smaller, more affordable mirrors. Cause if you want this one, you better have money, baby. <laughs> For, this is like a perfect mirror for like businesses and like beauty salons. So hit me up, commission me. If you want for your home too, I'll do that too. But just know you better have a dollars because this is a lot of work. This is a piece of art. Like this is a beautiful piece of art. I'm so proud of it. So happy with how this came out. I just love creating so much. And this is honestly like, I like very confident. This is the best thing I've ever made before. So thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you had fun. There's so much more to come. So like and subscribe. I love you.